All right, welcome to the transformation. This class that, well, this presentation that I have been, uh, it's been awesome being able to, to learn this. So I'm grateful that you could be here. Thank you especially for coming and for you for coming as well. Very excited to have you here. Got a lot to share with you um, that I've shared a couple times, so I'm excited to be able to share it again. What you're going to be able to learn today is you're going to learn about the maggot syndrome and the three, counter, the three parts of the maggot syndrome and how that affects us and how that's impacting the world today in a negative way. And then also I'm going to teach you the grandfather fly solution. And that is how to counteract the maggot syndrome and to fight back against this maggot syndrome that is just taking down a lot of people in the world. So I'll be able to share this with you. I'm very excited to be able to share that with you. And then thirdly, this presentation is all about you. It's about you realizing the power that you have inside of you and to help you find your own potential to help you step out and to change your life and thereby change the world because you're an incredible person who is made different than anybody else so that you can make a difference. So thank you very much for coming. Give yourself a round of applause for being here. Yeah, awesome. So to start out with, I'll tell you a little bit about the history growing up um, and the stories and, and how I got into writing these stories. So I've lived in Utah pretty much my whole life. We moved down to uh, Glendale, a little town over by Zion when I was eight years old, and when we moved there, the roads were all dirt. There were still dirt roads, which was pretty amazing. And I just had uh, rollerblades that I had just got from up north, so I got down here and was not able to use the rollerblades except for at the post office, which had a paved parking lot, which was pretty awesome there. So, small town, there wasn't a lot to do. There were no movie theaters, there's no mall, there was no stores really, no, we had kind of one little rundown gas station, a little country store that sold penny candies and uh, milk and some of the necessities that we had. Uh, we, in Glendale, we really didn't have any restaurants at the time when we moved there. There was nothing, just a really small town. 350 people is what I would usually tell people that was the population for Glendale, 350. And I thought I was exaggerating when I tell people that. But just a couple weeks ago, I got onto the census and looked up so I could get the exact population for Glendale, Utah and it's 379. So, so I didn't exaggerate very much, actually. So it's still a very small town. So with that, I had to learn how to use my imagination to have fun, to be able to, to go out with my friends. We were able to go out in the hills. We spent a lot of time being animals, being cowboys, Indians, just running around in the hills, creating forts, and we had a, a lot of fun just out in the, in the woods, using our imaginations to create stories to keep us entertained. And then, moving into to high school, uh, I, in ninth grade I got into acting. And I had a friend that kind of pulled me and I wasn't going to do it, but then he asked me to and I got into acting and I loved it. I loved acting, creating uh, stories and painting pictures on stage and helping people to laugh and to entertain them. I love entertaining people, I love teaching people. And then we got into movie making also in high school. And then we had the, the idea, me and a couple of my friends, that we were going to uh, change Hollywood and what Hollywood did. So we were going to make movies that were just as good as all the Hollywood movies that everybody wanted to go and see in the movie theaters. But after they left the movie theater, they would leave feeling better. So they'd feel inspired, improved, and want to go out and, and make a difference in their lives, a positive change. So all of the movies we do would be in this direction, to help people better and change their lives. So that's, that got me into that. Uh, I was a mentor. I was able to be a mentor for some, some young kids in, in elementary school. And I learned doing that. I had a lot of different leadership roles and stuff where I had opportunities to teach and help others as well. And then when, after I graduated high school, when I was 19, I got to go serve a mission for the LDS Church in Germany. And I spent two years teaching people, helping people better their lives, overcome addiction, and just step in a, in a more positive direction in their lives, help them to feel more happy and successful. And so figuring out what my, my sole purpose is has been a journey. I believe that every single one of us has a sole purpose. There's a reason why we're put here on this earth. And there's, there's a reason why we're here that we can then reach out and help others. And for me, I always knew I loved helping people. I thought a long time I just I wanted to be an actor and a movie maker, and so I thought I'd just be 
and making movies and acting. And that was my sole purpose. I got into college and, you know, just things got it going. And, and over time, I've come to realize that my sole purpose is to teach truth in fun, entertaining, sometimes random ways to help people experience more joy and happiness in their lives and ultimately to strengthen the family. Because I stand for strong families. And I know that if I work on myself and I, if I'm able to improve myself, that puts me in a position where I'm then able to reach out and help my wife, help my children, help uh, my relatives, and to help you to then better yourselves so that you can then do the same thing. And so individuals are, or families are made of individuals. And so as an individual improves, it improves the family. And as a family improves, then it improves the community. And it just goes from communities to counties to states to countries to changing the world. Because I really believe that a country is only as strong as its strongest family. The family is the basic unit of society. And the family is, is what's most important. So I stand for strong families, and I stand for teaching and helping people to better their lives and find out what their sole purpose is.